Hi, you are warmly welcome to God Mass. This is where mathematical literacy begins. Before you start watching our video lessons, I'd like you to understand that mathematics is your friend. And if you live with him every day, he's going to be your best friend. And so I would advise that you take at least 20 minutes of your time each day to go through our video lessons and also to solve the assignments that are given after each lesson. I believe that this will enable you to build a strong foundation in mathematics and also help you to pass all your math exams with ease. So stay tuned, get your learning materials ready, and let's all get started. In this lesson, we are going to look at linear equations. An equation is a mathematical statement that has the equal sign. Today, we are going to look at equations that involve one variable. And we are going to use two different methods to find the value of a given variable in a linear equation. The first method we are going to use is a grouping of like terms. And the second method is called balancing. So, method one, we are going to use grouping of like terms. And method two, we are going to use balancing. You use these two different methods to solve simple linear equations in this lesson. Now let's take our first example. We will first solve this linear equation using the method of grouping like terms. The idea of grouping like terms is that all variable terms, all terms that contain the variable x should be at the left hand side of the equation. And then all the number terms, the terms that do not contain the variable, should also move to the right hand side of the equation. Now, here you can see that the variable term 4x is already at the left hand side of the equation. The number 10, 26, is already at the right hand side of the equation. The term positive 6 is a number 10, and so it must move to the right hand side of the equation. And we all know that if any term in an equation moves across the equal sign, then it must change to the opposite term. So here we have positive 6 at the left hand side of the equation. And because we are lifting it to the other side of the equation across the equal sign, it will change to negative 6. So that at the left hand side of the equation, we will be left with only 4x. And then at the right hand side, we will have 26. Because this positive 6 has moved across the equal sign, it will become negative 6. Then, we can see that the variable term is at the left hand side of the equation, and all the number terms have been grouped at the right hand side of the equation. We will then have 4x is equal to 26 minus 6 is 20, and then because we are looking for the value of x, we will divide through by the coefficient of x. That is the number which is standing with x. 4 cancels 4, and our x will be equal to 20 divided by 4, which will give us 5. This is how we will solve linear equation using the grouping of like terms. The variable terms should be at the left hand side of the equation and all the number terms should be at the right hand side of the equation. Then let's solve the same example one using the method of balancing. Yeah. 
Now using the balancing method, the idea is that once we have positive 6 at the left hand side of the equation and we don't want it to be at that side, we will introduce the opposite term of positive 6 which is negative 6 so that it will cancel the positive 6 at the left hand side. But we must note that anything we introduce at the left hand side, we must also introduce it at the right hand side. So we will have 4x plus 6 and then we have introduced negative 6 at the left hand side of the equation to cancel this. Then because we have introduced negative 6 at the left hand side, we will also introduce negative 6 at the right hand side. Whatever we introduce at the left hand side, we must introduce it at the right hand side. We are introducing negative 6 because we want it to cancel the positive 6 at the left hand side. Then our resulting equation is going to be 4x. Negative 6 and positive 6 are opposite terms. So when they cancel out, we will get 0. And that will be equal to 26 minus 6 will give us 20. We want to find the value of x and so we divide through by 4. Then we will have x is equal to 20 over 4 and that gives us 5. Let's take our next example. We will still solve this example using the two different methods. We will group like terms first and then we will use the balancing method second. Now in grouping like terms, we will lift the number term at the left hand side of the equation to the right hand side. When we do this, we will be left with 2x at the left hand side and that will be equal to we already have 9 at the right hand side and then we are lifting negative 3 across the equal sign. Note that once a number or a term crosses the equal sign, it changes to the opposite. And so negative 3 moving across the equal sign will change to positive 3. Then we will have 2x is equal to 9 plus 3 will give us 12. We want to find the value of x, and so we will divide through by the coefficient of x, which is 2. Then x is equal to 12 divided by 2, and that will give us 6. Then we will use the balancing method to solve the same equation. In balancing, we have 2x plus 2x minus 3 equal to 9. The idea of balancing we learned from the previous example is to introduce a term that is opposite to the number term here so that it will cancel that term. Note that if we want to introduce the opposite of negative 3, then it means we will introduce positive 3. And so we will have 2x minus 3 we introduce positive 3, which is the direct opposite of negative 3. And that should be equal to 9. Whatever we have introduced at the left-hand side of the equation, we must also introduce at the right-hand side. Then negative 3 and positive 3 are opposite terms. So they will cancel out to give 0. At the left-hand side, we will be left with 2x. And at the right hand side, 9 plus 3 gives us 12. Now, if we want to find the value of x from this, 2x is equal to 12, we divide through by the coefficient of x, which is 2. Then our x is equal to 12 divided by 2 is 6. Let's take our third example, which will be a bit complex than the ones we did in example 1 and example 2.
In this example, we have variable at the left hand side and at the right hand side. We have numbers at the left hand side and at the right hand side. Now let's first solve it using the grouping of like terms method. The variable terms are like terms. And then the number terms are also like terms. In the previous example, we learned that we must move all the variable terms to the left-hand side of the equation and then move the number terms to the right-hand side. And if a term crosses the equal sign, it will change to the opposite term. So the variable term 5x is already at the left-hand side of the equation. The variable term negative 3x must also come to the left hand side of the equation but because it is moving across the equal sign to the left hand side it will become positive 3x then we will have our equal sign at the right hand side of the equation we have the number term 22 then positive 6 must also move to the right hand side but because it is moving across the equal sign, it becomes negative 6. Then 5x plus 3x will give us 8x. And then 22 minus 6 will give us 16. If we want to find for x from the previous examples, we divide through by the coefficient of x. And our x will be equal to 16 divided by 8. That will give us 2. Let's solve the same example using the balancing method, where we have to introduce the opposite term to cancel out the term we want to remove. So, for the same example, Now, in balancing this equation, let's first concentrate on eliminating the positive 6 at the left-hand side of the equation. And in eliminating positive 6, it means we have to introduce a negative 6. And that will give us 5x plus 6. We will introduce negative 6 to cancel out the positive 6 at the left-hand side of the equation. And we have learned that whatever we introduce at the left-hand side of the equation should also be introduced at the right-hand side of the equation. So that positive 6 and negative 6 will cancel out to give 0. We will have 5x at the left-hand side of the equation. Then at the right-hand side, we will have 22 minus 6 minus 3x. I'm bringing the 6 in addition to the 22 because they are both number terms. So, now we have to eliminate negative 3x at the right-hand side of the equation. And if we want to eliminate negative 3x, we must introduce the opposite term, which is positive 3x. When we introduce positive 3x at the right-hand side, it means we have to introduce positive 3x at the left-hand side too. So, we will have 5x, we are introducing positive 3x at the right-hand side, and so we must introduce it at the left-hand side too. So, positive 3x, and that should be equal to 22 minus 6 minus 3x, then we introduce positive 3x, at the right hand side of the equation too. Negative 3x and positive 3x will cancel out to give zero. And then at the left hand side, we will have 5x plus 3x, which will give us 8x. Then at the right hand side, we are only left with 22 minus six, which will give us 16. We want to find the value of x, so we divide through by eight, and x is equal to 16 divided by eight will give us so now try this assignment on your own. The answers will be given in our next lesson.
In our next lesson, we'll look at linear equations that involve brackets and those that involve fractions. But before you sign out, remember to like, subscribe, comment, and then share this video with your friends. So see you in our next lesson.